believe. Basic color mixing exercises. This is what you're going to be doing. Primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. If you take your primary colors and you mix them with each other, you get your secondary colors, which are orange, green, and purple. Three primaries, three secondaries. If you mix the primaries with the secondaries, you get different shades of brown. So if you test those out, if you have paints at your house, you will see the different kinds of browns that you can make. Now Art One, you're going to be doing a color wheel using three crayons. If we were in class, we would be using tempera paints, but we're not in class. So hopefully somewhere in your house you have three crayons that you can use. They have to be red, yellow, and blue. So if you make a wheel with your six pie slices, then separate your primaries from each other. Again, in class we will be using tempera paints to do this, but I can't assume that anybody has tempera paints at home. So we're going to use what we have. So basically what happens is the yellow is going to be half of a circle, the blue will be half of a circle, and the red will be half of a circle in the end. And when they cross over each other, that's when you, that's when you then get the green. Go back over it a little bit to make it greener. And the purple. And finally, your friend orange. So that is a very simple color wheel using only three crayons. That's all I need you to do in Art 1 right now. Art 2, you're going to be doing some practices with watercolors. Either you have a set at home, or you need to email me right now to let me know that you need to pick some up at school. First thing you're going to do is a flat wash. It looks easy, but it's actually pretty hard to maintain just a flat wash of color. The next thing you're going to do is called a graded wash. That's when you take one color and just kind of thin it out with water so you have a fade. That's a graded wash. The next thing you're going to try is a variegated wash and that's when you mix one color with another blending it as smoothly as possible. These are all different techniques that you're going to need in watercolor when you do your project. So the next one you're going to try is wet on wet. That's a color with another color dripped into it. And the next one is just spattering. That's when you just take a brush and spatter it and stippling. Just stabbing the paper. These are just different grades and textures that you're going to need in watercolor. And that's it. Two different practices to get you started.